Hello, my name is Andreas Rösler. I'm a technology manager for Roden Schwartz. We are here at CTA Mobility 2016 in lovely Las Vegas, Nevada. And a buzzword in the industry is 5G, and here at this counter is one of our 5G demonstrations. So the FCC, the local regulator in the United States, recently announced uh, additional spectrum for 5G wireless communications. Among other frequency bands, they uh, added the 28 gigahertz band that catched uh, the interest of the industry, in particular Verizon Wireless. So what we're doing here is um, uh, we're doing a 5G power amplifier characterization uh, at 28 gigahertz. That's the device that you see over there. Uh, we're using for this a Ronin Schwartz SMW200A vector signal generator and a Ronin Schwartz FSW signal and spectrum analyzer. Uh, why I mentioned Verizon Wireless is that uh, recently they published a version of a 5G specification. It's based on LTE. Um, it's a 100 megahertz uh, wide waveform, 75 kilohertz subcarrier spacing. Um, has a lot of twists and tweaks in it for, for beamforming. And actually we're generating this waveform with the signal generator and uh, feeling that at 28 gigahertz through the PA, the PA amplifies the signal and we're reading that back into the spectrum analyzer. So on the spectrum analyzer we have a nice option which is called K18 for power amplifier characterization. You see that here down on the screen you see the typical PA measurements like AM to AM and uh, AM to PM. But what's very nice of this is you have a tool that can allow you to do uh, a power versus frequency sweep in no time with no additional programming capabilities. So what is a power versus frequency sweep? Basically, uh, I parameterized uh, the frequency band to be the 28 gigahertz band that the uh, FCC just uh, defined. Uh, we're sweeping over a power level from minus 10 dBm to uh, 0 dBm input power to the PA, and we measure raw EVM, error vector magnitude, so we're doing a signal quality measurement. Uh, with that measurement and the additional capabilities into the instrument, we're able to characterize this PA. We characterize a nonlinear device, what it does to the waveform, how much distortion is being added, so that uh, design engineers can optimize that for future 5G applications in a base station or a 5G access point. Thank you so much. If you need more information on 5G, go to roda-schwartz.com slash 5G.